You know, we've heard about people scoring 81 points, 92 points, even over 100 points in a single game. But what happens when you're in the NCAA and score over 100 points, not once, but twice? What is going on everybody, it is Handles, and before we get into this video, I'd just like to say we are so close to 50,000 subscribers, you guys are really the best fans ever, I'm really glad you guys enjoy the content I make, but if you're new, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can reach our goal of 50k, I'm hoping we can reach it by the end of this month, maybe sooner. Anyways guys, let's get right into the story. Jack Taylor played high school basketball at Black River Falls High School, and by the end of his senior year, he was an all-state player and the second leading scorer in the school's history. He then transferred to a prep school in Pennsylvania, but 9 games into the season, he ended up tearing his ACL, MCL, and meniscus. When that happened, all Division 1 interest he was getting was thrown out the window, and after that moment, his basketball career might have been ultimately screwed. But after one year of recovering, Jack decided to go to a Division 3 school which was the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. He didn't get much playtime there, so after that year, in 2012, he transferred to Grinnell College. Jack's first two games of the season, he was leading the team in scoring, averaging 23.5 points. But he was shooting an abysmal 26.8%. Now the Grinnell coach saw Jack in a slump, so he decided to play him extended minutes the next game to help him get out of it. And this is where a miracle happened. In the first half of their next game, Jack scored 58 points. And when Jack realized how much he had, he decided to keep going and in the second half, he scored another 80. Jack ended the game with 138 points. What? And his team won the game 179 to 104. Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. This game got everyone buzzing. Someone in the NCAA just broke the previous scoring record of 113 points by 25 points. Everyone was talking about Jack. LeBron James even compared his scoring performance to even that of Kobe's 81 and Wilt's 100. Kobe Bryant even said that Jack must have had some Mamba blood in him that night and Kobe also said that he must have been wearing his new Mamba shoes. Along with that, a bunch of other NBA players even tweeted about Jack's performance. Basically, everyone wanted interviews with Jack, he was essentially becoming a celebrity. But the hype for him was dying down as he broke his arm before the season ended. But when he broke his arm, he was averaging 36.3 points per game. I mean, that has to warrant you some Division 1 scholarship, especially with some of the Division 1 players I see who are complete bench warmers. But he never got one, and the next season, after he recovered, Jack was able to do it again. He scored 109 points and exited the game with 5 minutes remaining before he could score any more. And by that season's end, Jack was averaging 28.8 points per game and still didn't receive any interest and he went undrafted in the 2015 NBA Draft. Even though you hold a single game scoring record in the NCAA, and the fact that you scored over 100 on two separate occasions, I'm guessing because you did it in Division 3, it just makes Division 1 schools and even the NBA still give no interest in you. Kobe was even trying to give a lot of credit to Jack, saying I don't care what level you're at, you score 138 points, that's pretty impressive. But no matter what, Jack Taylor's fame for achieving this record just continued to go down and down until he wasn't talked about anymore. And after Jack went undrafted in the 2015 NBA Draft, he decided to give up basketball and decided to just continue on living his life. But Jack Taylor's name will never be forgotten as he's still in the NCAA record books for scoring the most points in a single game and the only player to have ever scored more than 100 twice in NCAA history. Anyways guys, that would be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to help the channel by hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed to help get to the goal of 50,000 subscribers. Anyways guys, till next time, I'm Handles and I'm out.